Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain a Hong Kong martial arts action comedy film called Snake in the Eagle's Shadow. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. The Snake Fist Clan specializes in the snake style of fighting in Kung Fu. For the past hundred years, the Snake Fist Clan has had a rivalry with the Eagle Claw Clan that specializes in eagle style fighting. The Eagle Clan has made it its mission to kill each and every single member of the Snake Clan and remove the style of fighting altogether. At the beginning of the movie, one of the last surviving members of the Snake Clan is challenged by Shang Quan, an Eagle Claw master. The two battle using their respective styles of fighting, but the Eagle Claw is evidently more powerful than the Snake Fist. Shang Quan vows to kill his opponent and end the Snake Fist's legacy. However, it is revealed that a Snake Fist master named Pei is still alive. Shang Quan kills his opponent and goes on in search of his final and only opponent, Pei. Meanwhile, Pei is living a low life as a beggar. He hardly earns any money and lives off of scraps. One day, while he is sleeping on a hammock made up of a single rope, someone barges inside the room and startles him. It turns out that the landlord has brought a thug to evacuate Pei, since he hasn't paid the rent in a month. They search around the room for money, but find a snake instead. While they are distracted, Pei quickly grabs his rice bowl and a pair of chopsticks and runs outside. He is surrounded and attacked by a gang. Using the bowl and chopsticks, Pei defends himself without much effort. Even though his opponents carry knives, his chopsticks are able to overpower them. One of the thugs bumps into an Eagle Claw member, Su Chen, while trying to run after Pei. When the thug describes Pei, Su Chen realizes that they just encountered a Snake Fist member. But by then, Pei is long lost. Following that, we are introduced to the protagonist of the movie, Qian Fu. He is an orphan adopted by a short-tempered eccentric kung fu teacher named Li. Li profits by scamming innocent students, promising to be a kung fu expert when his skills are merely average. He frequently abuses Qian Fu physically and makes him do all the cleaning. Qian Fu wants to learn to fight, but even though he works in a kung fu school, he is never given the opportunity to train. One morning, Li is resting while the students practice as usual. Qian Fu watches them and tries mimicking their movements, forgetting to sweep the floor. Li notices and hits him with a stick. To trouble the kid even more, he walks around with white powder under his shoes, which means he has to sweep the floor twice. Later, Li uses Qian Fu as a prop to teach his students a new form of fighting. He orders Qian Fu to not dodge the attacks and beats him up as an example. This is not the first time he has used Qian Fu to make himself look like a Kung Fu expert. Qian Fu is frequently beaten up, but he has no other way to make a living. The only person who sympathizes with him is the school's cook and even offers to apply medicine to his wounds. Somewhere else, Pei ends up in front of another kung fu school in the town and decides to take a rest. Inside, a wealthy businessman and his overweight son, Lap Ban, have come to check if the school is good enough for Lap Ban's admission. The head teacher boasts about his trainees being the best in town, but Lap Ban is not convinced. He asks a student to break a stack of three bricks with a single blow. The student does as told and manages to break them all. But as soon as he is out of Lap Ban's sight, he yells in pain while holding his hand that is now starting to turn blue. Moments later, Lap Ban tries to shake his hand and realizes that he was only pretending to be tough. The father and son leave to get admission to Lee's school instead. After that, the students see Pei resting outside and take their frustration out by beating him up. Pei doesn't defend himself, afraid that someone might notice his presence. Qian Fu sees this and stops them from hurting the poor old man. When the students attack him, Pei uses his tricks to make Qian Fu fight. He stands behind Qian Fu and pushes him around so that he can dodge the attacks. During the fight, a Russian religious missionary notices Pei and rushes towards him. In reality, he is a spy who has been appointed by the Eagle Claw Clan to find and eliminate the last surviving member of the Snake Clan. Pei notices him and runs away with Qian Fu before he can be caught. Following that, Qian Fu brings Pei to the school and makes tea for him. He also asks the old man to stay the night because he must be injured. Pei is impressed by his kindness. Meanwhile, Lap Ban and his father are in a meeting with Li, who boasts about his training. Lap Ban doesn't believe him and asks him to break three stacked bricks. Li laughs at him, stating that he can show them a real fight instead of mere brick breaking. 
he calls Qian Fu and orders him to take the beating from one of his students. An excited Lap Ban watches as the fight begins. Qian Fu is beaten up yet again, but he cannot dodge the attacks, scared that he will have to starve the next day. By the end of it, Lap Ban is impressed by Qian Fu's opponent's skills and agrees to take admission to the school. Qian Fu walks back to Pei with several cuts and bruises on his face. Embarrassed, he runs to his room. The cook tells Pei that it is a daily thing for Qian Fu to get beaten up. He is used as a display dummy to maintain the school's reputation. To lighten his mood, Pei places a bowl on his head and asks him to try and get it. Qian Fu does his best, but Pei is so skilled that he doesn't let him get a single touch of the bowl. The following morning, Qian Fu wakes up to see Pei is missing. He notices a message on the wall that vaguely talks about the dodging skill. Outside, Pei has also drawn a pattern of footsteps for Qian Fu to follow and learn the tricks from yesterday. In reality, the tricks were the basics of the snake fist technique. Using the message and the steps, Qian Fu comprehends what Pei is trying to teach him and starts practicing. He is a gifted fighter and learns the technique in a short period of time. Somewhere else, Pei bumps into the Russian missionary and follows him to find out his true intentions. However, he soon realizes it is a trap when Su Chen of the Eagle Claw stops him and challenges him to a fight. The missionary and Su Chen go against Pei, but he manages to flee after tricking them. However, he is left severely injured after the commotion. At the same time, Lap Ban's father comes to the school to check his son's progress. Lee asks Qian Fu to take beatings from Lap Ban, wanting to use him as a dummy yet again. But this time, using Pei's techniques, Qian Fu dodges all the attacks. He even makes Lap Ban bump into his father, making both fall to the ground. In the end, Lap Ban and his father run away to the other school. An angered Lee hits Qian Fu repeatedly for humiliating him. Qian Fu runs away from the school and coincidentally bumps into an injured Pei. He takes him to a shed and dresses his wounds. Somewhere else, Su Chen meets the higher official of the Eagle Claw Clan, Shang Quan, and tells him everything about his encounter with Pei. Then, we see Qian Fu taking care of Pei until he gets better. After finding out that Qian Fu is able to learn the technique only through the drawings, Pei agrees to train him in snake-style kung fu. His only condition is that Qian Fu won't call him master, won't use the training to display violence, and won't interfere when Pei is fighting his opponents. Qian Fu accepts all the conditions and starts the training. He works hard day and night and learns the techniques in no time. Over a few weeks, Pei gives him more difficult tasks, but he shows growth and perseverance like no other. One day, he is lazily sweeping the floor in the school when Lee sees him and decides to trouble him as always. He steps on white powder, but before he can step on the floor, Qian Fu slides them up under his feet. Li tries his best to trick Qian Fu, but he is quicker because of the training. As they are struggling, a group from the rival school barges in. The leader of the group is the new Three Provinces champ in Kung Fu. He is furious because all other schools in the town sent him gifts to show respect, but Li didn't do so. Hence, he challenges Li and his fellow teacher to a match. Li is reluctant, but since all his students are watching, he has no choice but to accept. The state champion doesn't waste time before beating them both up, proving that they are just a bunch of frauds who only know basic knowledge about Kung Fu. Qian Fu wants to help them, but since he has promised Pei that he will only use his skills for defense, he stays out of the fight. After the two are defeated, the students follow the state champion to the rival school. Later that day, Qian Fu is cleaning when the former teacher of the school, Master Hang, returns from a trip. He used to be the head teacher until Li took over. Enraged that they were defeated by the opponents, he walks to the rival school and challenges the state champion. They get into an intense fight, both matched in skills. But in the end, the state champion beats Master Hang and doesn't stop attacking him. Qian Fu finally steps in, which angers the champion even more. He attacks him a couple of times, asking him to fight back. Now that Qian Fu can use his training as defense, he doesn't hold back and starts battling him. Everyone is shocked to see that a mere janitor is giving the state champion a hard time. Master Hang is just as surprised because he didn't know Qian Fu could fight. From the entrance door, Shang Quan is also watching them. He sees Qian Fu's technique and recognizes it as the snake fist technique. Since only one person from the clan is still alive, he is sure that Qian Fu knows Pei. After defeating the champion, Qian Fu and Hang return to their school. At home, Qian Fu finds a letter by Pei that says he will be gone for a few days. Alongside the letter is a book on snake-style fighting. 
Qian Fu rushes to the shed to see Pei, but the old man has already left. Just then, Shang Quan, who has been tailing him until now, inquires if he knows Pei. When Qian Fu confirms, Shang Quan lies about being Pei's friend and asks Qian Fu to tell him when he returns from his trip. He also emphasizes to keep his arrival a secret from Pei because he wants to surprise his old friend. A naive Qian Fu believes him and agrees to help him. Upon reaching home, he sees his pet cat fighting a snake. Even though at first glance the snake looks more dangerous, it is proven to be weak against the cat's paws. This gives Qian Fu an idea to mix the paw technique with the snake fist technique to make it more dangerous. Somewhere else, Pei returns to the town and is immediately confronted by Su Chen. At first, Su Chen pretends to be dead and then attacks him with a knife. He believes Pei was stabbed, but turns out he was ready to dodge the attack. They get into a fight where Pei overpowers him with his expertise and kills him. Following that, he goes to meet Qian Fu, who is overjoyed to have him back. They ask the cook for tea, but the man mixes poison into it. Just then, Qian Fu remembers Shang Quan and rushes to tell him about Pei's arrival. But when they return looking for him, Pei has already fled. Shang Quan predicts where he is heading and runs after him as Qian follows them. On his way, Qian Fu is stopped by the Russian missionary who wants to kill him. They get into a fight where the missionary has an upper hand because of his sword. Qian Fu gets his clothes torn but still manages to defeat him in the end. Somewhere else, Pei meets Shang Quan. He has had enough of running and wants to fight to put an end to the century-long rivalry between their clans. The fight starts and initially they seem to match in expertise, but Shang Quan soon overpowers him and is about to kill him before Qian Fu interrupts them. To save his master, he asks Shang Quan to fight him instead. Pei tries to stop Qian Fu, knowing that he is not trained enough to defeat Shang Quan, but he doesn't back down. Soon, they launch at each other, and Qian Fu immediately manages to scratch his opponent's face with his new invention, the cat claw technique. By the mixture of the snake fist and the cat claw, he creates a unique deadly technique that defeats the eagle claw in no time. In the end, Shang Quan is also defeated. As the master and student are about to leave, the cook approaches them and tries to stab Qian Fu. Pei stops him effortlessly and inquires why he is doing this. It turns out that he is also a spy from the Eagle Claw clan. He laughs, knowing that they are about to die of the poison he gave them earlier. But Qian Fu reveals that he had exchanged the tea because it was too hot. In the final scene, the cook remembers that he drank the poisoned tea. The poison's effect starts to show and he dies instantly. In the last scene, Pai compliments Qian Fu for inventing such a powerful new technique. Remember kids, we have a lot to learn from cats and if the tea is too hot, don't drink it. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.